Okay, let's take one more example and let's see if we are able to solve this. The answer they huh? So I want to maximize ax plus by plus cz. And I'm given a constraint ax square plus by square plus gamma z square is less than equal to half. So step one is to write the Lagrange. Write Lagrange. So I have gone ahead and I have written the Lagrange here. But there are three variables, x, y, z. So step two, differentiate with respect to all three variables. Differentiate with respect to all three variables. So when I am differentiating this with respect to x, kya milega yahan se a milega bache? Yahan se mil jayega mere ko 2 alpha x. So this is what I have written here. A minus lambda 2 alpha x is equal to 0. Then you will differentiate with respect to y. So yahan se you will get b and yahan se you will get 2 beta y. So beta yera b minus lambda 2 beta y. Step 3, you will differentiate with respect to z. So, bachche, yahan se aapko milega c aur yahan se aapko mil jayega 2 gamma z. So, yeh raapka step 3. Step, uh, I mean, you have done all differentiation. What's the next step? Next step is write complementary slackness condition. So, but what is your complementary slackness condition? Kya likhi jati hai complementary slackness condition? That your constraint into the Lagrange multiplier must be equal to 0. So, this together is my complementary slackness condition. That lambda into alpha x square plus beta y square plus gamma z square minus l must be equal to 0. So, here se is complementary slackness condition se do aati hai conditions bache. Pehla aata hai that lambda is equal to 0. If lambda is equal to 0, so this will be met with inequality. So, alpha x square plus beta y square plus gamma z square must be met with inequality. The second constraint that you get, that is that lambda is positive. Lambda is positive. And if you have lambda as positive, then this will be met with equality. So alpha x square plus beta y square plus gamma z square will be met with equality. Ye dono hi hume check karne. This is what complementary slackness condition states. Now what you will go ahead and you will do is, you will go ahead and you will first check this condition. You will check this condition. So if I mean, if I, you know, assume that this is a binding constraint, then what is going to happen, beta? So here we solve karna start karte hai. First condition will go ahead and give me that A is equal to 2 alpha x lambda. The second condition will give me B is equal to 2 beta y lambda. And the third condition will give me C is equal to 2 gamma z lambda. Yeh to teen conditions a gai. So from here, can I find out the value of x and y? Yes. So what I can do is, I can divide these two constraints. And when I will divide these two constraints, I can get it in terms of one in terms of other. Aisa hi kar sakte hai. So these are, so I can just do this division. So let me just perform it. So this is going to be my first constraint and second. If I divide 1 by 2 beta, I will get A by B is equal to 2 alpha x lambda upon 2 beta y lambda. Lambda and lambda will get cancelled. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So, beta, my y ka value will come from here. It will alpha by beta into x into B by A. Okay. So, I will divide 1 by 3. So, beta, when I will divide 1 by 3, what will I get? A by C is equal to 2 alpha x lambda. Or here 2 gamma z lambda. Lambda and lambda will get cancelled out. 2 and 2 will get cancelled out. So z ka value will come alpha by gamma into x into c by a. Now, 
I have got y in terms of x. I have got z also in terms of x. And I have a binding constraint. I know that alpha x square plus beta y square plus gamma z square should be equal to L. So, here y or z ki jaga, I can put them in terms of x, which I have already So, this is what I am going to go ahead and do. Instead of y and z, I will put them in terms of x. So, so I have alpha x square plus beta y square plus gamma z square is equal to L. And here I will get alpha x square plus beta. Y square ki jaga pe I will write alpha by beta x b by a whole square. And z ki jaga pe I will write alpha by gamma x c by a whole square is equal to L. Sab kuch x ke terms mein solve for x. So, ya jaga alpha x square plus alpha square x square b square by a square upon beta plus alpha square x square c square by a square by gamma is equal to L. So, beta, when you will solve this, x square common leke sub leke, just take this here, you will be able to get some value of x. You can just plug those back and you will be able to get some values of y and z. Wo x, y or z ka jo value hai, you need to go ahead and find those. Ye aayi aapki x, y or z ka value. You will get x star as this. Right? Where mu will be this. Right? So aapka jo x ka value aajaga na yaha se, it will be a root l. Just solve this, huh? I have just told you how to do this. Into alpha upon alpha square upon alpha plus b square by beta plus c square by gamma. Ye x ka value aajaga. Like that, you will be able to find y ka value and z ka value. So these will be the values of x, y and z that you will be getting. Hmm. And clearly, you can also find the value of lambda from here. So lambda ka value ke liye hum kya kar sakte hain, beta? From here, we know that lambda will be a by 2 alpha x. Huh. And I have already found out x from here. X to abhi abhi nikala hai hai se. So I can just plug in that and find lambda also. And clearly lambda is non-zero. So I have met the complementary slackness part also. Ki lambda mera positive aara hoga. Aur ye constraint jo hai, wo equality ke saath meet ho rahe. Right? So you will be able to maximize your function. Is that making some sense? Now, but if I assume that my lambda itself is zero, this equation pe wapas aate hain. Agar mera lambda zero assume karu, matlab agar main is wale pe jau, is condition pe, and I assume that my lambda is zero, to what will I go ahead and get? Dekho dhyan se zara. You will get a is equal to 2 alpha x into 0. So, you a b 0. This is your b b 0. This is your c b 0. But if a b c are 0, if a b c are 0, then there is no function left. And that's not possible. Right? It is not possible that there is no function. You need some function to work with. So, this is not possible. And this one, we have got the answer to this one. So that is how you can go ahead and solve such kind of questions. These are very, very important from the point of view of exam. And they will definitely be asked in tomorrow's exam. Okay. So these are the two questions I wanted to discuss today from 18.8 and 18.9. This is what is important. And this is what is going to be asked in exam. Let me just revise it quickly with you. The steps of Kundakar. Steps. So first you will form Lagrange. Second, you will go ahead and you will differentiate it with respect to x and y and equate it to zero. Third, you will form the complementary slackness equation in which you will say lambda 
into your function equal to 0. From here, you will form different cases that either lambda is 0 and your function is with inequality or your lambda is positive and your function is with equality. Okay, beta. And you will evaluate both of them. You will get some points. And at that point, you will check the value of the function and check which is your maximum. Sometimes you will only get one point. Just say this example me. I was just getting one value of x, y, and z. And that's my tema. That's the answer to this question. Right. So this is how you can go ahead and solve the question based on Kuntakar. Very, very important. Please do it thoroughly for the exam. Okay, better. Thank you.